Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm XDSL. Hello there. And today we're going to talk about Sims 3 mods. Um, I know what you're thinking. Sims 4 is out. What the fuck, Hex? Well, the reality is uh, Sims 3 is, is on Steam, uh, which means that most Linux users, like me, are probably a bit lazy and just like... I'll just play whatever fucking Sims is on Steam, because that's what I do. Uh, and the reality is, Sims 3 is the only one. Now, I've talked before about how we have to rename some files. And for those of you that didn't follow this, if you want to play The Sims 3 on Linux via Proton, all you have to do is go into your Sims folder, right? So all you got to do, you go in there, right? And you, you rename the launcher file to something else, and then rename ts3.exe to the sims 3 launcher.exe or sims 3 launcher make it the same as the one you just moved away um i just rename uh sims 3 launcher to sims 3 launcher.old and then just rename ts3.exe to sims 3 launcher and then i'm done um that's all i've made a video about that i've talked about this in the past it's a well documented thing but one of the things i had problems with uh, on linux specifically has been mods and that's because <clears throat> i didn't read it properly as well as being a bit a bit slow on the uptake so let's talk about the Sims 3 mods and the things we have done. Um, so the things we have done is, let's have a look. Oh, fuck. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where did I put it? Oh, god damn. I was, I was right there. Okay. So, <laughs> so uh, the Sims 3. Uh, this is NRAS Industries or NRAS Industries uh, website. There are two mods specifically I wanted uh, when I set off here. And there are two mods I'd heard about. And there's two mods I was like, I need these on my Sims. So I went to NRAS Industries. And these are the people that make these mods for Sims 3. Um, the link for this website will be in the description below the video. But it's just N-R-A-A-S. And you'll, you'll literally like stumble across it. Click on mods at the top here. And then you'll end up on this page. Now the two mods that are legendary that I needed. That I knew I needed was Error Trap. This fixes a this corrects a bug in the Sims that can result in an unloadable save file. Okay, now usually this unloadable save file occurs when you use mods. If you change mods and stuff, it just fucks up completely. So what this does is this this makes that a bit easier. So you just click that button and it will just download it. Okay, um, yeah, don't worry about the version number. Just the, the Sims is it's not it's not getting updated anytime soon. You know, it's not it's not happening anytime soon. The other one you want to look at is the Overwatch mod. Okay, so here is the Overwatch mod. Now the Overwatch mod is uh is 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 a thing that corrects a design decision in the sims i say a design decision it might be a bug i want to say it's a design decision basically if a car goes past your window at 3 a.m the game's gonna map that car just gonna keep doing it it's just gonna keep doing it. if you walk into your neighbor's house and turn a radio on that radio just stays on if you drive to the other end of the town right and you just like you turn a tv on then drive back the game's gonna keep going i need to keep track of that tv being on so it's basically doing loads more work than needs to. So it's just like ignoring stuff outside a certain area. It's like, nope, we're keeping track of all of it. So what this does is, I'll, I'll read to you where it says. The primary purpose of this mod is to act as a periodic cleanup system for correcting errors and eliminating junk that accumulates over regular play session. A menu called NRAS slash Overwatch is added to the city hall and the active sim. So all that means is if you uh, if you just like click on the sim where you've got your cell phone and your, your actions and stuff, you also have got this NRAS menu which allows you to then uh, to then just like interact with this mod as necessary. But mostly, if you just install Error, Error Trap and NRAS, you can just ignore it. That's it, just done, you're done. You'll basically have a better time. You won't get that weird slowdown after about 20 hours of, of save game time. Um, you'll yeah, you'll basically have a healthy Sims game. Now, that's not to say I didn't go insane. I tried a bunch of fucking mods, but I went nuts. And the reality is, uh, I'm not someone who really enjoys mods in games. And I just I just I just I just burped a little bit. That's really yeah, I gotta stop doing that. I'm gonna start like 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 breathing more when I record. Um, anyway, uh, I uh, I made the effort of uh, looking at all these mods because I was like, let's try them. And, and I'm not somebody who enjoys mods. I'm not someone that really cares about mods. Like, I'm mostly, for the most part, unless something's really amazing, I just want the game that the developers got. That's kind of all I'm after. And I think that's because I, I tend to graze games. Like I've not got like a million hours in The Sims. I played a lot of it, but I'm still at like 40 odd hours. You know, I've not I've not like played a million hours of it. So I don't feel like I've gone through the developers' content yet. Um, so I didn't need them. So I took them all off. But I did try loads on here. I tried the dresser. I tried a uh, home opener. Go here. Uh, I tried. Uh, I tried a bunch. You know, I tried a bunch of them anyway. And in the end, I was like, I just want The Sims Three. Um, but once, but these Overwatch and Error Trap mods actually make the game better. Like just vanilla better. Like you know, you're not gonna have fucking problems with the save game. That's not even an issue you have to worry about. You have to you have to do that thing where you save and you're like. You're like, okay, I've saved that now. I'll wait a few seconds the hard drive light goes off in case it's still right. And it doesn't, you know, none of that. Just fucking save and exit. Um, yeah, maybe no one else does that. I don't know. My Sims are precious to me. Um, and then Overwatch, just as I said, just keeps the game really real nice. Um, but the documentation for, for mods is not what it could be, all right? It's not, 
Is that what? Is that where it could be? Okay, so uh, I, I, I was like, I had a quick look once. I was like, I can't figure this out. Fuck it, because it's a game, and I'm just, I'm not a modder, so I didn't give much thought. But Jumble Sailor from the Discord was someone who cares and knows and is smart. So he explained to me how to do it, and I'm going to explain it to you. So thank you, Jumble Sailor, because the audience is getting the second hand. Um, so where's that? So go to your Steam library folder inside your Steam library. Yeah. Steam library folder. Inside your Steam library folder, you'll find a folder called Steam Apps. Inside there. Now, this is specific to Linux. So, if you're watching this on Windows, go somewhere else, all right? Or, or look at this and figure it out, okay? So, what I have been doing, I've been going into Common. I, sorry, I've been going, yeah, I've been into Common. I've been going into The Sims 3, right? And I've, been, and, I've been, and I've been printing the mods in here, right? That is not what you do. Okay, sorry. It's not what you do, all right? Because I would have known that had I bothered reading the guide properly, but I was like, I don't really care about mods. Um, so I've been whacking them in here, and that's not what we do. So what we do do, <laughs> I said do-do, is we go into the comp data folder, okay? Now, we're looking for The Sims 3. Now, if you've got a lot... Now, this drive here is a drive I use just for like, the games I'm playing right now. It's a small... It's like a, it's like a 120 gig SSD I've got just for the games I really want to play right now. So The Sims is one that's permanently on there. I've also got Kingdom of Agmar on here at the minute. Am Amalar on here at the minute as well, because I'm playing a lot of that. So, um, anyway, we go to the folder where we'll find The Sims 3. God, I hope I've picked the right one. I'm going to feel like a jackass, aren't I? Um, and then go into this PFX. Now, this is the prefix for Proton. It's like a wine prefix, but for Proton. So, we go into here. Uh, we're going to go into here, right? And then we're going to go into Drive C. Okay, yeah, yeah. And we're going to go into Users, right? And we're going to Steam User. Now, what I'm about to say, it might be worth knowing that there's a chance this could be in public, right? Sometimes this fucks up and it ends up in public, but you should find it in Steam User, okay? Uh, so it's Steam User, and we're looking for the My Documents folder, which is which is, which is is here. Uh, and then we're going to... Ah, I did choose the right one. And then we're going to go into Electronic Arts, and we've got The Sims 3. So what you're essentially doing, if you was on Windows, this would literally be the My Games folder inside your 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 Documents folder. All right, that that'd just be you know, your, your, your user folder on Windows. I don't know what it's called. The Windows equivalent of your home directory. It'd just be in there. But in, on Linux, we need to go to the Steam apps. Then we go to Comp Data. You can find your own Steam apps folder. Then go to Comp Data, and then go to 47890, which is the serial number of the game. The serial number, the, the, the item number of the game. Now, if you are interested in what that is, I'll take a moment, right? So if we look for The Sims 3 on Steam, right? Right, okay? Uh, and we go to the store page. Now, if you've got URLs turned on, that number is up here, look. It's right here, look, at the top here, yeah? That number is is basically the product ID on Steam, okay? That is, I don't forgot where I put it. There we go. So that number is the product ID on Steam. So if you ever need to know it for another game, that's how you find it out. Uh, and then PFX at prefix, drive C, users, Steam user, or public user is not in there. My Doctor Electronic Arts. And go into there, right? And you'll have all this shit. Now, I'm like, why the fuck the game puts all this shit in there is an absolute fucking mystery to me. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, you don't understand. So what you want to do then is you want to make a folder called Mods. Now, it's very important that you do this. It's a capital M, a lowercase ods. So it's Mods with a capital M, okay? That is important, or at least appears to be important. Inside there, right, you're going to need this file called resource.cfg. Now, what resource.gfg does, it just lays out the file in a way that tells The Sims to load everything in the folder. Now, there's a direct link to this I'll put in the description below the video, but it's basically on every guide you look for The Sims 3, you'll find a copy of this file. So it's not going to be hard to find, but I will provide a link in the description below. Yeah, literally, just says like, load all this shit. <laughs> this is what it does, load all this shit. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, we'll put that in there, put that in there. Um, make sure it's readable, obviously. Um, if you don't know how to do that, just just you know, you just ch mod it. Uh, but if you are, if you do want to do it in the GUI, and I'm using the GUI so everyone can follow it, get permissions and make sure it's reading, it's, it's reading right for the owner. Okay, uh, it should be. Uh, it almost definitely will be, but I'm just saying in case that's a problem you might come across. Then we need a folder called Packages with a capital P. Okay, and we put all our mods in there. We put just put the package files, yeah, in there. Now I've got three on. I've got, as I said, Error Trap, Overwatch, and I've also found one called, and this is off a different website. I didn't. This wasn't an NRAS mod, and it just skips all the logos at the intro. It just it just skips the logos and gets me straight in the game, which is just saved me like four seconds or some shit. But it's worth it for all of one point six k. I mean, these mods are really small, like 500k, 340, I assume they just like basically just code. Um, but it's not just, you're not done yet. You're not done yet. There's still more to do. So you also want a folder called overrides. Uh, you want to just, just make an overrides folder. Again, overrides with a capital O. Um, that folder has nothing inside it, but it needs to exist. Some mods require it. Best off just make it now so you don't have to forget about it, right? And then, again, last thing, and we're done, right? Is there's all these folders in here. 
all these files in here with the word cash on, right? Uh, so like cash package, basically anything with the word cash here, yeah? Just delete anything. Doesn't matter what it is. If it says the word cash, just fucking delete it, okay? Uh, just in that folder, not in the main Sims folder. And then we're gonna play The Sims 3. Uh, and it's, you watch it fuck up now. I, did, I think I did an update earlier. I hope it hasn't fucked up my container. I'm using the flat pack Steam. Uh, yay! Okay, so for me, it's gonna skip. It's gonna skip the. Uh, it's gonna skip the intro. And okay, here's a bit I want to show you. It looks like you've installed an unofficial game modification. Blah 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 blah. Continue. That's it. All right. This is it. Uh, and then the game will load. Now the Sims text too fucking long to load. Really, it just takes too long, which is why it's on my SSD permanently. I don't know why this fucking game takes so long to load. There must be a better way of loading this game. Uh, but then once you get in the game, I don't know if I can be asked to wait. Well, maybe I can. Maybe it's speeding up. I don't know. Oh, it's gonna slow. I mean, this is just gonna be me watching the scroll bar, isn't it? When you get in the game, I'll have this pop up and it'll just tell you what mods are installed the first time. It'll just be like, yo, these mods there. That, that, shouldn't happen if you don't delete the cache like the next time you load the sims it should that should be pre-cached and it shouldn't tell you that but it seems to like just sometimes be like yo these are installed. okay calm the fuck down you know it's it's fine calm down uh but yeah so don't worry too much about that any tiny oddities with it but uh yeah it'll tell you what mods are installed and that's how you know they're working basically the first time you go and it goes these are installed if you delete any of those mods you want to delete those cache files again before you reload um i would suggest leaving error the error trap on as a minimum uh, there you go look script's found it's got it's got error trap and overwatch which is yeah error trap which are the new ones uh yeah so yay found them and that's how you know mods are working basically that's it it's uh yeah that is it we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna quit the game from here because i don't want to show you another fucking loading screen forever but uh that's it that's how you run the mods in sims 3 it, i've talked for like 11 minutes and it shouldn't i probably could have condensed this down but i've just got up and i just wanted to get this video done because i think it's something that is useful for people to know it's one of the videos where i know like it's not going to get loads of views right because like who's playing the sims 3 it came out in 2009 who the fuck other than me is playing the sims 3 still but at the same time when i wanted this information i found it hugely complicated and couldn't get a straight answer so if you're on linux this is how you install mods on the sims 3 don't ask me about sims 4 i don't own sims 4 I don't have Sims 4 from in any way. I don't have it. And I don't have Sims 2 or 1 because they're not on Steam. I wish Sims... I, mean, I would buy the shit out of Sims 1. You put the Sims 1 complete collection on Steam for like 25 quid, I'll probably buy that. Like, seriously, I'd, I'd be well into that. So, anyway, I'm rambling. You can support me on Patreon if you'd like. You can always find me over on the YouTube. And you can always get me on Twitch a few days a week. And also, you can find me in Discord. That's kind of where I live. And IRC. Thanks for watching. I mean, Hex, I love you all very much from the bottom of my soul.